guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 and 8 of Blue Reflection Race. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't know if I'm going to do y'all like I'm currently doing all my new stuff. It depends on like how long it takes to edit and such, especially with like, ugh. This is still a confusing as fuck show, but it's still interesting, and it's just because, okay, going into, I think, last week's video that was released, so, okay, because it's still, it's Wednesday for me, so this week's video got that got released to YouTube, was this week's? No, it was last week's, because this is 7 and 8, that was, so when we were on episodes 3 and 4, um... There was somebody who commented saying that, yeah, this series is really weird. Um, the reviews for it weren't the greatest. And I, I can see, like, kind of why. This is one of those type of shows where it has, like, the community, like, in two different ways. You either loved it or you even or you hated it. It's very similar to um, the situation of Platinum Zen currently right now. As someone who technically really dropped that show, like, by episode four, um, but then one day I was like, you know what, fuck it. I uh, and this, was, this was very recently. I was like, let me continue watching and stuff. And even though I knew how the damn show was going to end because I looked at the damn manga, um, I decided to catch up just to see, you know, that one person die and now he's officially dead, even though I haven't seen it. Anime wise, manga wise, I've seen it. Um, that is another one of those shows where everyone is like split on how they personally feel about it. We couldn't get like a whole episode on this. We're just getting the same things I got last week. Yeah, you dropped your phone, all right. No, I don't, I don't think it's that. No, no, I think she's still innocent, but I think your quote-unquote maiden, you know, and the fact that she worked with Momo and such... Well, I mean, you could talk to her. <laughs> she would. 
Well, it's because of the fact that she knows about her sister and such. She doesn't want to tell her. probably make more friends. Well, if you only knew! Yeah, Nina had to look into her like own personal story for her. Not for not for Nina personal story. We're talking about what's her face's sister. But it makes you wonder, why would she keep this from Hewity? Just like you two. Since it has been a while. Oh. What well, damn. I feel like Nina's gonna go kill something. I mean, because, okay, having that bond slash connection with Mio now, of course she feels a certain type of way. One. 
two now also having her memories in a way like ooh, that's a whole different ball game right And that's when she'll show up. Well, that just screws her over now. Oh, that is like the wrong time to be coming in the store. Hey, mama. How you doing? And I feel like she's going to tell her every, everything. I mean, it would make the most sense, but... Of course, they were partners. Oh, baby. Which is at the beginning of the series. But Momo, you have to at least do something. The longer you keep it away from her, the more he already is going to be upset once she finally finds out. Well, because that connection Mio did with uh, Nina. Because there has to be something else that Momo, not Momo, Mio found out about the quote unquote truth. And because of that, I, I love how the dude just came in and then he was like, oh girl, hold up. Um, Mm-hmm. It really doesn't. Because when the memories float up into her, she saw her and Mio together. Why would she lie about that? 
But as I was saying, Mio found something out about the thing that they were going against that day. And so she's questioning everything of like, what's really the right thing? What's the wrong thing? Almost like the quote unquote, what is the true answer? And what is actually really good and what is actually bad? And so whatever it was, it did something to her. It had to fuck her up really bad. I mean, it's beautiful, though. I mean, at the right time, the whole fucking place freezes. And then still, what the fuck does this girl have to do with it? What's now the connection between her and, and Mio? There's so many unanswered questions. This is only episode fucking seven. Like, is it bad that I'm so... Ho! Oh! As I was saying, is it bad that I'm, like, really rooting for Nina that I really hope and pray that she's, you know, gets to have a better life from this? She's able to move on from this, you know? I mean, because she's gotten so hurt in her past and such, and then the prostitute situation, holy fucking shit. Because that, that's still mind-boggling to know that. Like, I, I'm... What the hell was that? But... That's Mio, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Girl, and she about to see her sister for the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Did not think that these two would meet back up in this episode. I was expecting this more like episode 12. Yeah, she a bad guy. Well, they, well, where the, uh, they must. They had to go back to the where they, yeah, where they living. So what the fuck are they gonna do with that flower now? Of that girl's soul. Because you've lost a little bit of yourself. But that's not happiness, though. You know, um... I feel like this show probably messed with a lot of people's freaking everything. It fucked up with everything. I, I, I don't even know what the fuck this show is now. This is only episode seven. Like, okay. It, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. But like, I, I cannot believe how I'm going to say this again. It gives me the feels of like how in the world Wonder Egg priority was and how when, by the time Wonder Egg ended, Wonder Egg was so fucking good, right? Then the OVA came out and even till this day, have not seen the OVA for that show. But I had friends <laughs> and on my Twitter timeline the day the day of OVA came out and everybody said, do not watch the OVA. It is the worst thing in, in the world. Do not watch this and such. And then when you look at it and really, truly think about it, and it's not only for that show, but like, okay, you remember the show Millionaire Detective um, that also came out around like, what, 20, early 20, 2020, 2021, like very close to the same time as Wonder Egg. COVID literally killed the shit out of those fandoms. Like, you don't really hear much ish about those fandoms anymore or like any other specials. Once the, those shows were over, they were literally non-existent. COVID like literally came in, wiped they behind, and then they were just gone. And we never saw them again. And it seems like this is possibly one of those shows as well. Like when it was on, it was getting hyped. And made, even though some people was probably confused as hell about it. Because just like uh, everyone else, I am confused about it every single week. But there are still parts of it that make it a little bit interesting. Now that Mio and Nina, really more Mio's team, has won something. What the fuck are they going to do with the damn flower? Still <laughs> wondering that. And I got one more episode before I'm done with this today. But at the same time, like, I, I can't imagine getting into this show and then being, watching it every single week, getting to the end of it, and then thinking about 
the series as a whole and you're trying to wonder was this good at the beginning then how were you how'd you feel at the like halfway point then how did you feel at the end i may feel a different way probably by i get by the time i get to episode 12 and episode 24 of this show but my feelings on this it is really mixed it, it really is i i still enjoy it but there's a little bit of things in here where i'm like huh and so it seems like, in a way, I kind of have to play the game to kind of really understand this a little bit more. But I think possibly what I might do, because maybe somebody, someone out there who also really enjoyed this show a lot, maybe made a video essay on this. And if they did, you know, and if you know them, because really, uh, at the, the only, uh, okay, uh, I'm not only speaking to, like, people who have seen my reactions to this video but like yes the one patreon person who requested this if you have seen any video essays on this then yeah go ahead and shove them my way but if you do if you have seen it any video essays for it like i said i would kind of wait until i'm specifically done with the show don't give it to me like now and then like say oh hey watch this when you get done with the show and such because there is a still it feels like and I'm only going to say this because, like I said, seven episodes in. It feels it feels kind of one-sided or a little half-assed to me. Like, I'm only seeing, like, parts of this story. I only know half of this story. Not the story as a whole. And so it seems like, and what I'm kind of hoping that we're getting by the time we get into the second half in the next few weeks, that we do get to see, like, a Mio point... Uh, a meal perspective of it. Hell, you can give it to me in episode 8. I think that would be really good as well because there's certain things going on and we're only really seeing 50% or even 100% of the time he already and the rest of the girls on their POV of it and not really Mio's or Nina's and stuff. Yes, like I said, once again, the episode on Uta and Nina, those were the best freaking episodes. Specifically, like, Nina's was the best overall now if Mio has like something that is just as dark and, and twisted as Nina's then I need it I need a night right the fuck now let's just go but I mean yeah I thought the episode was interesting it, it's sad that you know our girls lost um but I'm still wondering how the fuck are they gonna get this far back what is Mio and, and everybody else about to do with this damn thing and if they're gonna give it to the girl what the fuck does the girl have to do with this once again, we're seven episodes into this, and we don't even know anything about this girl that Mio, Nina, and Uta is looking over for, technically calling, you know, Mia her sister. So, help me, <laughs> like, to understand. That's all I'm really saying. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight and three, two, one, go. And I wonder if I feel like if he was just going to be like really depressed for the rest of this episode. I mean, you know, seeing, yeah, having seen your sister for how long, for the first time in how many years or in a little while, oh, of course that's going to like eat the crap out of her. And so she's going to want to lock herself away from like everyone who she cares about. Are you seriously up? Or, hold up. Wait, hold on. Is, is he already pretending that, you know, last night didn't happen? A.K.A. the previous episode? Are we doing that? Yes? Maybe? I, I don't know. Then the biggest thing kind of makes you wonder, like, okay, so let's say I either play the game or I watch someone play the game. Is it going to change my, like, views on this show? Because I know some people said there's some things that the game is connected to with this anime or it's just still, like, an original anime, you know, original-ish 
type thing that's connecting some things with it but not everything but like I said it leaves a lot of unanswered questions with it so it's like oh hey you gotta go look at the source material just to compare and contrast the two but who really knows So still, I want that damn scooter. <laughs> and see, she's smiling behind her pain. Of course not. She's hiding it. I really thought, you know, Hiori would have, like, locked herself in her room, not wanting to come out, anything. But the fact is that she's out and she's trying to pretend to be happy even though she has this little big secret and such It is all hanging like it's a god dang group. What the hell? Yeah, especially for Hewitty. What do you say to her about all this? Of course, she's going to apologize. Momo. You didn't know that this was going to happen. And I understand, like, the reason why you kept it a secret. Yeah. So don't beat yourself over it. Yeah, before they all become an empty freaking shell. Because, I mean, we don't want that. But, you know, that big group that we just saw not too long ago. I mean, ooh. Because your feelings, the way you feel and the way Ruka currently feels right now.
This is giving me like major beat star feels, aka Haru, because Haru was the only one who was in the garden club. Oh my god. Saturday because I won't get off work till one. Mm -hmm. Specifically your sister. Mm -hmm. well I think in a way you have to go up against your sister it is a scary thing to think of and to do but in order to stop this <laughs> cause your sister is a bad guy in a way
Basically, yeah. She's like an empty shell. All the rest of those girls are. And you'll be too. She's not gonna... Um... Oh! Oh, okay. Because I was like, whoa, if we really go this route... Of course your sister has to know that. Come on, Hiori. Like, I know you want to think that your sister is not this bad person, that she's always been sweet and kind, but look at what the heck is going on! Something's up with your sister! We got a problem! <laughs> like, come on What well, damn she did. What the fuck? Everyone? Girl, and she just taking them out like it's freaking candy. Like, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. You get one. You get one. You get one. Like, she is just getting them all done. Rid of, look, I can't speak. She's getting rid of all of them. Like, it is nobody's fucking business. Like, oh my God. Cause she's doing it to save the gray haired girl.
dam and the electricity. It's okay to cry. Mm -hmm. That's the power of girlfriends. Oh. And she laughing like this is a girl. She only what the fuck? What the? You okay with your hand like that? No. I feel bad for her though. I mean, what I kind of really thought and expected into this episode, and I'm glad, even in the way that it ended, I'm glad that it, you know, it did what it did, but I was kind of wondering, like, with Hiori, it was going to take her several episodes to be okay with what the heck happened in the previous episode with Seven and such. And seeing a little bit more into the backstory, I'm happy that we got to see that, especially for Mio and Hiori, but, um... She already in her hand. What, what, what the fuck? What, the, what was that? What was that? What explain? And then the situation with, with blah, 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 I can't speak. The situation with Nina. What? What the heck happened with that? Like, why did she just detransform and such? Was it because she didn't believe in um? Mio or something or maybe was it her own feelings just like with Hiori and how her feelings didn't allow her to transform and such because she was still 
visibly hurt by her sister and everything. So, what the heck happened with that? Like, there. Huh? I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> But I do love the fact that Momo did really apologize and say, like, hey, I'm sorry that I kept this from you. Um, he already saying, hey, it's not your fault and such. But it just makes you wonder still, like, how, are, like, really is he already going to move on from this? She's not going to fall. Okay, this is what I feel like is going to happen next week. Of course, Momo is now officially following the trail. She already had to follow Mina and Mio back to, you know, the church. So Mia, yeah, Momo is going to go to the church and eventually fight both Mina and Mio. Mina is possibly going to want to kill Momo because that last little bit said, don't you dare touch my sister and such. Um, who freaking knows? Uta might come in and do something. The girl with the gray hair might go do something. Shiori might do something. And anything might happen next week. But at the same time, because the fact is, Momo is now officially going solo on this week's, or really next week's episodes. And the fact is that the other three aren't really going to know until very last minute in episode 9, possibly. Because, I mean, come on, it's very obvious that it's probably going to happen. Um... Eventually, those three are really just Ruka and Yuri will eventually meet up with Momo, find Momo, like, badly beaten, and then try to, you know, like, fight to get her out of the church and eventually find somewhere where they can heal Momo and such. I don't really know. This is just a prediction on that. But, I, I mean, yeah, like, this, this show, like, there, there's a lot of depressing moments up in this show. I mean, we're only eight episodes in, but oh my god. Um, th once again, with the mental health thing, very much. Th this and Wonder Eye, very. Uh, I mean, I Wonder Eye. Wonder Egg. Wonder freaking Egg, Deja. That and Madoka Magica and everything else. Like, I mean, th this is kind of very similar to, you know, how when the Magical Girl, like, death game thing was very popular, and it still is. But I, I think, because when I, like, even though we are only, like, eight episodes in, I feel like I've seen this before in like another one another type of magical girl quote unquote death game in a way and such and I'm trying to not compare it to other things I'm like okay let me sit and watch it like by itself and then by the time we finish it then I can compare it but then at the same time like what usually happens with something I it automatically happens to where I compare it to something else and then if I continuously compare it like when I watched um combatants can't be dispatched and stuff I compared it for like I think the first three weeks to the same person's work Kanasuba and such and everybody was also comparing that to Kanasuba as well to the point where a lot of people really wasn't enjoying combatants as much as they did then there was a point where I was like you know what um I'm gonna stop comparing this and by the end of the show I really did enjoy it a lot more so I mean, it, like I said, it feels like I've seen this before in other type of magical girl death game genres, but there's some new things and twists that I'm like, oh, okay, we haven't seen that before, which still keeps me interested in it. But uh, like, like I said, I got a lot, of, a lot, and I mean a lot of freaking unanswered questions. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of Bully Reflection Ray. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys!